the only feat of arms of note at Chillon, that haughty fortress spared by the vicissitudes of time, was when the castle was captured by the Bernese in 1536. In early 1536, the Bernese Republic declared war on the Duke of Savoy. Nevertheless, Chillon stood up to the siege for three weeks. This shows clearly that even with a reduced garrison, a fortress generally has the upper hand over an army. It is thought that six men were probably killed on the Bernese side. On the morning of 29th of March, the siege army tried to launch an attack, and Antoine de Beaufort capitulated. He proposed surrendering that afternoon. So the Bernese entered the castle in the afternoon to find that the garrison was no longer there. In any case, the commander, Antoine de Beaufort, had escaped across the lake with some of his men. On March 29th, having broken the chains that held the castle gate, the Bernese freed the few prisoners still in captivity including Bonivar, who became famous as a result of the poem by Lord Byron. It's very easy to understand the importance of the Chillon site when you see it from the lake or even from the motorway. It offers the only route between the lake and the mountains and is also on a major international route, the Transalpine route, over the Grand Saint-Bernard or the Saint-Plan passes, which leads to the Swiss plateau or to Franche-Comté in France via the Jura mountain passes. Chillon is a fortress typical of the defensive constructions of the Middle Ages. On the facades that look out towards the mountains, the narrow openings were mainly designed for hurling a variety of projectiles to drive back the enemy. Defenders could use these openings in the walls and towers to prevent attackers from moving forward while they remain protected. The walls are dotted with arrow slits, loopholes, gun emplacements and battlements. The keep was used as a last resort. Placed at the center of the buildings, it was deemed to be impregnable. The castle's garrison had to be constantly on the alert. Tours of duty were organized to keep watch over the surrounding area on both the land side and the lake side. The soldiers were trained to handle pikes and missile weapons. Halberds were regularly used in battle. After the defeat against the Bernese, Chillon forfeited its control over the Alpine routes. During the Second World War, a military fort was built concealed in the rock opposite the castle, a reminder of the site's capital importance over the centuries.